First question you're probably asking yourself is, what is a seal drag? Well, quite simply, a seal drag is a drag mechanism that has been sealed with O-rings and various other magic to keep all water out. And we have some great examples here, like this Mako. And you'll see if you take off this spool, this drag is entirely encased. There's just no way for water to get inside that drag mechanism. Unsealed drags, on the other hand, are exposed to the elements. And in the case of this T-bore, you'll see that the entire cork drag plate here can be exposed to water. Various manufacturers do this in different ways, and some are much more sealed and less sealed than others. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Fundamentally, drags like this T-bore are going to allow some or a lot of water into the drag mechanism of the reel. Now, let's talk about some of the advantages of choosing a sealed drag over an unsealed drag. First and foremost is the obvious one. Water doesn't get in. If water doesn't get in, rust also doesn't get in. Sealed drag reels are just gonna be much better protected against the elements, and especially salt water, than an unsealed drag. They're also going to be entirely maintenance-free. If you buy a reel like a Mako or a Nautilus or a Hatch, you're never going to have to go in and lubricate that reel. Because it's sealed, all of the lubricants and everything stay entirely within that drag enclosure. So you're never gonna to have to do anything. A T-bore, on the other hand, is gonna require lubrication and maintenance. Now, that's not gonna be the same for every unsealed reel, but at some point, if you own a reel long enough and it doesn't have a sealed drag, you're gonna have to maintain it in some way. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't rinse your reels after you use them, even if they're sealed, but by and large, you've got a maintenance-free product versus a, let's face it, fairly low maintenance product. And the last key advantage is that sealed drags are generally newer and more high-tech than unsealed drags. And really what that means is you're gonna get a smoother, better, probably stronger drag out of a sealed drag reel than you are on an unsealed drag. Now you're probably wondering, why doesn't every reel have a sealed drag? Well, there are some disadvantages to sealed drags as well. And the big one is cost. To get a drag that's really well sealed, you're probably gonna have to pay more money than an unsealed drag. And the next disadvantage of sealed drag reels and one that perhaps real manufacturers are gonna be a little upset with me about is that while there are a lot of reels that are marketed as sealed drag reels, not every single one of those reels is actually thoroughly really sealed. So what does that mean? That means that sure, they've got O-rings in the right places, but if you use them enough and in harsh enough conditions, water's probably gonna get in over time. The only way to know that, of course, is to use it. And that's a real bummer if you're out in the Seychelles and you find out that you've got a rusty reel. Now, there are some other arguments for reels that are not sealed. And probably the next one that you're gonna hear is the fact that they're newer and simply not as time-tested as reels like the T-Bore here. And certainly that's true. They are newer, but a lot of world records have now been set on seal drag reels, and to me, that's not really a valid argument anymore. Seal drag reels have been around a long time, and fundamentally, they're a great product. The other disadvantage you might hear about if you're trolling the forums is field maintenance. And while it's true, technically, that you can do zero maintenance on this, because why would you ever want to? It's also very unlikely that you're gonna be off fishing in a remote location and have a bunch of spare parts for your T-bore. But if you're the type of person that likes to carry spare parts instead of say, another reel, this is a fairly simple mechanism here, whereas this one is not. You couldn't and should not ever open a Mako or a Nautilus, but you can do that on a T-bore. I just personally think that no one in the history of time really ever needs to do this. If you're going to a far-flung place where field maintenance is a real issue, just bring an extra reel. 
Now that we've gone through the advantages and disadvantages of sealed versus unsealed drags, let's talk about when you might want to use a sealed drag reel. And the answer is simple, salt water. If you're fishing fresh water, chances are, even if a little bit of water gets in, you can either get it out or it'll just dry and it'll be no big deal. In salt water, however, if water gets inside that drag mechanism, it's gonna rust, your bearings are gonna rust, eventually that reel will fail. And that is the key benefit of a sealed drag reel. Let us know whether or not you're using a sealed drag by leaving us a comment in the box below. And don't forget, we need your questions to answer right here on Talking Trident. So either leave us a comment or shoot us an email at support at tridentflyfishing.com with your questions. We're here to answer them. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.